More than $600 million is up for grabs in this session's budget, earmarked specifically for K-12 through funding. But how exactly should that money be used? Well, State House Bureau Chief David Williams joins us, and everyone wants a piece of that pie, David. They do. More than 50 people signed up to testify in front of the Senate School Funding Subcommittee. They believe the money should go to a wide variety of areas like funding for student counseling services, virtual schools, and English as a second language programs. But teacher pay kept coming up over and over again. I have seven years teaching experience under contract. I have 20 years work experience in and around education, a master's degree, and I make 37000 a year. That's the reality Leslie Boyd lives with every day as a teacher with East Gibson Schools near Evansville. It's very frustrating. It is. It's but you don't leave because you do it because you love the kids. The House passed its budget proposal, which now makes its way through the Senate. The K-12 funding part landed in a Senate subcommittee today. The proposal calls for using $150 million in cash reserves to pay off the difference between what retired teachers are owed and what the state has in the bank for teacher pensions. Republicans say that change will free up $70 million in savings for schools. That is actual money on the table and, and we do appreciate that concept and do support that. Republican leaders said they encourage schools to use that money solely to increase teacher pay. We need more funding so that we can negotiate increased teacher pay to recruit and retain high quality staff. Our young teachers cannot afford to buy a home, start a family, pay off student debt or begin to plan for retirement without taking a second or third job. Indiana's teachers union says K-12 funding needs a bigger boost. Otherwise, some schools could see negative impacts. Some of those districts, programs are going to have to be cut, there may have to be layoffs, and so the conversation is a much more difficult one even than the difficult ones happening already around teacher pay. Lawmakers did not vote today. Remember, Governor Holcomb created the Teacher Compensation Commission last month. Their goal is to figure out how to make teacher pay competitive with our surrounding states. So all new at six. What do some of Indiana's teachers think about the state taking over teacher pay? I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.